Hello. Today I want to talk about some of the false narratives that narcissists will try to implant you with. And um, the induced feeling, the emotion or the reaction that their uh, narrative induces in you um, intentionally they're trying to get a reaction from you they're trying to get you to feel specific things and they're masters of pain so they know how to make you feel unpleasant feelings or unpleasant states of mind so I want to talk about a, a couple of these and the feelings that they create or induce. I have a list here of some of them that I came up with one day. First one. You don't matter. I don't see you. Induces anger. You're not playing fair, so therefore, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anyway. Induces invisible feeling or sense of being erased. I am cooler than you. I have a higher social status. Induces a sense of despair, invalidation. You are sexually impotent compared to me. I am more sexually attractive, virile, dominant, gifted, skilled, etc. Induces a sense of frustrating, frustration or poor self-esteem. That frequently goes on intergenerationally. If you have a narcissistic parent, they're going to be jealous. If it's a male, they're going to be jealous of the sons, and they're going to try to make them feel sexually impotent. If it's a female, they'll try to make the, the female feel this way. And they'll put that program in really deep, really young. <coughs> um, you are mentally unstable, violent, dangerous. Induces a, a lack of trust in oneself. Is destabilizing. This is also called gaslighting. You are weak, fragile, not up to it. So I guess I have to do, tone it down, right? I guess I have to tone it down because you're not up for it. I'm too much for you, right? Induces a sense of invalidation, shame at one's personal weaknesses or limitations. I know something you don't know. That's why you don't get it. If you knew what I knew, you would get it. Induces invalidation, shame, a sense of personal weakness, not having power, control, or the necessary knowledge. You are dangerous. I need protection from you. You are invading my space. Why won't you leave me alone? What are you in love with me? And this frequently follows. Um, they will invade your space, you know, step over all your boundaries, get you to totally abandon all of your all of your values, and then they'll they'll suddenly just be like, oh. They'll accuse you, and it's just a mind game. So this induces a sense of confusion due to the role reversal hypocrisy intended to induce frustration. And self-blame intended to be destabilizing through making one question one's trust in, in oneself and personal judgment, decision-making abilities, etc. You are jealous of me. That's why you are upset. Defers blame in a simple way. Leaves you feeling frustrated at being mischaracterized and misrepresented. 
I am in an elite group that you cannot be part of. Intended to create despair at one's inadequacies. You are faking it. You are a con man. You are pretending. Your pain is fraudulent. And this is really important. They don't value anyone's pain except for their own. They don't value anyone's feelings. Nobody else's feelings is re are real except for theirs. Induces invalidation of character, frustration, anger, and self-doubt. Yes, I cheated you. Yes, I broke the rules. Yes, I got one over on you. I admit it. But what can you do about it? You have no power to stop me. Induces despair, helplessness, a sense of being pathetic and worthy of abuse. Um, I guess I deserve this, right? That's what you think to yourself. I guess I deserve it because here he is admitting it and I still can't walk away. Narcissists are pathological liars who will do anything to defer blame from themselves and keep their own flaws from being uncovered. These are some of the go-to narratives they may try to trick you into believing. Yes, that's what I wrote at the end of that. Um, just a couple more. You're not part of the club. You're not welcome here. Nobody likes you. Smear campaign. So the smear campaign, typical narcissist terminology. They start a, a campaign, you know, basically getting everybody around you to stop believing that you're worth a damn or that you know it's like a political campaign except they're not politicians and neither are you but they do it that way um, you're not part of the discussion you are out of the field of play you are not in this you are not you're a criminal you know whatever you can't be trusted you're not you know it's just like you don't have the credibility necessary to participate in the discussion induces invalidation lessening a sense of self-worth sense of despair a sense of um Hopelessness, intended to cause hate to oneself, not trust oneself, flee, flee due to feeling unwelcome, thus leaving the narcissist free and in control, and once again um, having power over you and the situation and the narrative about you and around you. Yeah. So those are a couple of the false narratives. Those are a couple of the... Uh, thoughts that they try to get you to plant in, that they try to plant in your mind, and then the, the um, intentional, emotional, um, induced emotional reaction that, that goes and follows with that. So I hope that you found this helpful. Um, yeah, make your own video or comment about uh, some of the false narratives you have noticed, if you'd like. More videos to come.